Hi everyone, this is Rosie and welcome to my studio. Today I'd like to do a short video to show you how to set up your mats so that it cuts your material in the most efficient way where you're not wasting anything. So in other words, I want to set up my mats so that the maker cuts the way I want it to cut, not the way it's choosing for me to cut. So I have here a file that I created a few days ago uh, for a window card. So at the very top I have four window frames. Then underneath that I have four what I'm going to call extension pieces. Underneath that I have two base card pieces. And then underneath that I have two pieces that will be cut from acetate. Now if we hit the Make It button right now, uh, we can see how Design Space will choose to set up the mats. So I'm hitting Make It. And you can see I don't have a very efficient use of materials here, assuming that I'm using 12 by 12 cardstock. I have um, the acetate at the top. I have two of my extension pieces on one mat, two of my extension pieces on another mat. They actually can fit on one mat. Then I have another mat with a base piece, another mat with the other base piece. And those two can be cut together on the same mat. And then I have the four window frames, which that one is fine. I don't have a problem with that one. But let's go back to the canvas and figure out how we can force Design Space to cut it the way we want it to be cut. So to get started, the first thing that we're going to do is add a shape. And this shape is just going to be a reference box for us. So I'm adding a square and I'm choosing edit and I want to make the square 11.5 by 11.5 and the reason why I'm choosing that dimension is because even though our cutting mats are 12 inches by 12 inches the actual cutting area is only only 11 and a half by 11 and a half so this will be a reference box to us I'm going to go into the layers panel and I'm going to change the color to white. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is move my four window frames onto that reference box. And you can see they're going behind. So I need to send my reference box to the back. So I go Edit, Arrange, Move to Back. OK. And then I can just place them onto my reference box. So I have the four window frames onto the reference box and now I want to move the reference box out of the way. So I'm just going to select just that box and I'm going to move it out of the way temporarily. And then I'm going to select all four window frames by moving my finger over all four of them on the screen. And then I'm going to choose Actions, Attach. So now we have these four grouped together. Attach is sort of like um, Microsoft Office's um, version of group and ungroup. When I attach something, I'm grouping them together so that they stay together. So that's one piece, and I'm going to move those over to the side. Then I'm going to bring my reference box back, and now I'm going to move these extension pieces onto it. And if I arrange them uh, by rotating some of them, I will be able to fit all four of them on here. Okay, and then again I'm going to move the reference box out of the way. And then I'm going to attach these four pieces. So actions attach again. And now I have those four pieces taken care of. Now I want to move my two base card pieces onto one mat. And then I'll move my reference 
box out of the way and I can attach those together and then I have my acetate pieces left. Now the acetate pieces they're going to um, cut from a piece that's eight and a half by eleven. Now I've put them on their side so that they would fit onto an eight and a half by eleven piece of acetate. So again I'm moving my reference box out of the way and I'm attaching both of these pieces. Okay so the reference box we don't need anymore. So I'm going to get rid of that and now you can see that I have everything grouped the way I would like it to be set up on the mats. So let's go hit make it and see if we were successful. Okay, it looks like everything worked. Now one thing that I need to do is I need to change the size of the paper for um, the acetate. So I need to choose eight and a half by eleven. Now that's all set. This mat is all set up with my four extension pieces together. This mat is set with my two card bases and this mat is set with my four window pieces. Now one other thing that I just want to show is that if you tap the mat, the mat the, that's being previewed, you'll see on um, one corner there's a circle with three dots. If I hit that, it gives me the option of moving these pieces to a different mat. It's not something we would want to do right now, I just want to point out that you can do that. So if I were to choose move to another mat, it's going to um, give me the option of moving it to a current mat, which I can't do because they're all full, but I also could create a new mat. I can give the mat a color, and there you go. Now it's moved those two acetate pieces to a new mat. And on the other side, there's a blue circle with a circular arrow in it, and with that one, I can rotate. So there are a few things that you can change once you're in this um, preview area with your mats. I know for myself being new to Design Space, uh, it was a little frustrating for me when I couldn't get my mats set the way I wanted, wanted them to, but I have found that this method works the best for me. I hope that you find it helpful. Please like and subscribe.